viewers, welcome to this very major edition of our new program on memories television, known as Ripples. On Ripples, we're talking about very serious issues affecting the society on every strata. And I'm there with me in the studio some beautiful ladies who will talk on why would parents send their children for vocational studies rather than send them for holiday lessons. We'll be back after this break. Stay with us. Okay, welcome back. Um, if you're just joining us, this is Ripples, uh, new wonderful television program on Memories TV. Like I said, on Ripples, we're talking about various issues that affect Nigeria from a very different strata. Today, there is a very sensitive uh, topic that we will be talking about. It has to do with why would parents send their children awards for holiday lessons rather than send them for vocational training? I have a series of beautiful ladies, intellectuals, who are willing to lend their voices. Let's meet them. Ladies, I, I say very big welcome. Uh, you're welcome to this program. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay, just like we said, very quickly, um, we all are very much in tune with the happening in Nigeria. Yeah. We're all Nigerians, aren't yeah. we? Yeah. And of course, um, uh, we talked something concerning the topic of today, which has to do with parents sending their children for holiday lessons rather than send them for vocational training. We have different school of thoughts. Some are thinking the children should actually go for vocational studies or training as it were. Some are saying, why not? They should go for holiday lessons. But here, it's time for us to do justice. Um, Who is going to give the first shot? Okay? Let's say from you. Okay, thank you. I would rather support vocational training okay. than summer classes. But first, let's get to know the meaning of vocational training. Okay. Okay? And vocational training is a skill acquisition at the lower level of education. Most parents believe that people who go to vocational training do not have money to go to a quality school or something. Okay. And they just want academic success for their children. But is that really the best? What would society look like if we had only white scholar jobs? It won't be fair, of course. People who engage in vocational training have better employment opportunities than academic graduates. Okay, so, so you, uh, you are saying that it is better to send your child for vocational training, right? Yeah. For the better employment opportunities, it goes without saying, it, it goes without saying that getting an office job is hard. Okay. Okay, so um, because it's difficult to get an office job, people need to get vocational training yeah. in order for them to be self-employed. Is that what you're trying to say? Yes. Okay, um, let's listen to um, Fable. All right. I think summer lessons or holiday lessons are mostly organized by schools and most of them universities and private companies who really want to give a child or help a child. Okay. So get extra help in learning education. A child may be lacking in some subjects okay. so, or maybe he failed, he or she failed some courses. He or she or some subjects, sorry, yes. he or she can go back. A pick up from yes. Okay. Yes, like he that the weaknesses. And then, yes. And it Okay. And improve, right? Yes, so sure. you are of the opinion, favor that it's better to send your child back to school for college lessons, okay? Instead of um, sending them for vocational studies. Exactly, yes. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, let, let's hear from Deborah. Okay, thank you. I am a support of vocational training. All right. Why would I say that? Because our educational sector is done with the responsibility of only providing basic theories okay. to students. Okay and of which the practical aspect is not there. So they need to go through this vocational training so they could get their processes 
and know what to do at okay. a particular point in time. Right. Especially when they are called up for some job opportunities like that. See. Okay. All right. Um, theory is not enough. Okay, so practicals yeah. would actually um, help the child develop further. Yes. Okay, let, let's hear from Ola. Well, my take is going to be on the um, holiday lessons. Okay, she talked about theories not being enough, but the theories actually give you basic, um, it gives you a basic foundation to lay on, to have knowledge about what you are going to particularize. Okay. Well, for me, I feel holiday lessons help the child to understand his independent learning deficiency. Okay. In a school system, for instance, the teacher to a student tries as much as he can to be able to cover the curriculum in, okay. a, in a stipulated time. Okay. And this teacher does not really pay attention if the child is actually learning or not. And the child in this case will want to pass his own exam and will cram in the process. Okay. So there is no there's no there's no space for individual learning. Okay. There's no individualization. Okay, so what we're saying is that originally the school system doesn't provide enough time for the students. Yeah, much less go for vocational training. Exactly. Okay, so what you're saying is it's rather better for every parent to send the children out or back to school for holiday yes. lessons. Yes. All right. Okay. Um, Mr. Long, let, let's uh, let's take more views from you. Okay. Would you support all that you know, um, uh, position right now? Um, no, I still support vocational training. Okay. You know, every child needs to learn something valuable with their hands. They That's need right. to place their hands on a skill. Okay. And these skills help them discover their talents. Okay, these skills help them discover their talents. You can hold it right there because right now we're going to pay some bills. Okay. We'll go on a short commercial break and we'll be back after this time. Okay. Stay with us. If you're just joining us, um, we are on the program Ripples, and on this program we talk about very different issues affecting Nigeria, especially Nigerians from different strata. Today we are talking about parents sending their children and their wards, particularly, for holiday lessons rather than send them out for vocational training. A uh, moment before now we had Nsebong talking about um, the children. Uh, needing extra help. Is that what you say? Yeah. Yes, so. Okay. You know, in the long run, this skills act as the means in which income is being generated. Okay. And vocational training is the engine for economic growth in Nigeria. Parents should encourage their children to invest in skill training as no nation can compete effectively in the emerging global market okay. please, with purely educated and unskilled workers. Okay, beautiful. So for you, um, it's better for every child, male, female, from every family, every background, whatever level you find yourself, to go learn a vocation. Yeah, yes. Whether you're in primary school, secondary school, or whatever level, learn a vocation. Yeah, exactly. Okay, um, let's, let's have another take from Fable. Okay, thank you. If you Summer lesson yes. has more to offer. Okay, summer lesson has more to offer. Okay. Yes. It expands a child's horizon in which not only classes okay. are being taught, they also create enrichment classes that can aid a child to yes. explore other subjects and interests, yes. which can also help them in their academic pursuits okay. and improve. So, where, where, where would you put the vocational training here? It doesn't come in for you. Yes, uh, it doesn't. But it's also done. Um, uh, Deborah? Okay, I, most children are yes. forced to go to school and by this they just sit down. They're not really taking what they're learning. They okay. so don't mm -hmm. practice. They just want to okay because my parents said, let me go. So, so in, in a way, the vocational, uh, in a way, the holiday lesson doesn't 
have any effect on the children? No, it doesn't. It doesn't, sorry. Right. Do, do, do you support I, this? I, I do not support that because it actually has, in fact, it is more important for no. the child. Why? Because it helps the child to remember. Because there are so many children that, okay, after a time in school, they go back home and why do we time? That holiday period is resting period for them. Okay. They go visit um, some relatives That's and all right. like that. And when they resume back at school, they forget what has been previously taught them. Mm -hmm. So, so, I, so I they need the holiday lesson to It's like refreshing. something to refresh their minds. Okay. So when they get back to school, they get their, you know, their Okay, something to refresh their minds for the child. But for Nsebom and for Deborah, they don't need the child to refresh their minds. They just need the child to go for vocational training. Uh, no, we we'll just wait. Now, um, why would you think a child should not refresh her mind or his or her mind? Okay. Rather, I'm going to get a, a different skin entirely. Okay. Yes. I'm not saying they shouldn't refresh your mind. You okay. Know? Uh, but we're not saying in your, in your position, your vocational training, in what way does it help the child refresh his or her mind? Okay. Yes. When a child goes to school, mm -hmm. of course they learn something there. And those things are mostly theory. Okay, so for you, whatever you learn in the course of at academic sessions should be enough for you. Um, Favor, what's your position on this? I feel um, summer school is yes. more better. Okay. There are some vocational courses taught in school. Also. Yes, right. the okay, so vocational courses are taught in schools. Yeah. Do you believe in that, yes. Deborah? Yes. You, you know some vocational courses yes. are taught we in school? We have personal textile, we have food and nutrition, That's right. and the rest of them. Okay, so well, why, why, would you, why do you think it's more important for parents to um, send their children out for vocational? If, even when we have some vocational studies in school or subjects in schools. Especially with this vocational um, study in school. You yes. can still do theories and then the child still doesn't know how to like take for instance person and text you don't know how to paddle the machine. Okay. So you need to go out, maybe attach yourself with a tailor and then learn one or two. Okay, let, let's take a look at this. <coughs> Ladies. Okay. We have the uh, education system in Nigeria from um, the crash level so the pre-nursery, the nursery, the primary, and of course the tertiary education. Okay, but let's look at it critically. And I want us here to do some justice to it. At what levels should we actually encourage our children or words for either vocational studies or the pre I mean the holiday lessons? Okay, second level. <laughs> I disagree with that. Okay, why? Because they have Why do you disagree? <laughs> Why do you say secondary? I'm saying secondary because um, we have the first three years in yes. senior secondary yes. and have the, um, the senior secondary which has another three years. Okay. So in between the break, like maybe after your three and just yes. then you can go venture into Okay, so the primary the primary school and the nursery, you don't need all the six, six, six no you do. No, but you said secondary. That's what your position is. Okay. okay, let's let's listen right. to that. You disagree. Yes, what? I think I disagree because yes. when when it comes to uh, discovering a child's talent or strength the potential. or skill or potential okay. principle, you 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 tend to discover that from primary school, especially from the age of five. You discover children from primary school, yes. especially from, from age of five. Do you believe in that? Do you support that? Yes, I support it. But I support a child going on vocational training even at your primary six or primary five because things taught in school like computer. Okay, so it is you don't wait until you, you have to for you, the child has to wait until she's about nine, ten, eleven. Yes, at least for computer training, that's basic. Because some schools they deal on theory only. And some children don't flow on theory. Like okay, I will take for example in my own case. Yes. Like when I was in school back then, you know they would teach you computer and the grammars and all of that. And you find it difficult to cope. Okay. But but when you get but when I got into um a computer school okay. that is the training, it was three weeks though, but I learned things and I, I saw computer as being something that is cool and yeah something you can uh, okay Ola has just said that from five years okay it's good to get back to school in order to get refreshed okay okay but, but for you you're saying that one has to a child has to wait for like 
until he or she is 9, 10, 11 before he gets back to school? Before he goes for a vocational training. Yes. And when I mean vocational training, I'm not facing welding and all this manner work. I'm talking of things that can help a child who is... Vocational is training. vocational. It could be welding, it could be... Yeah. You know, family, whatever. Okay, okay. Yes, but it's what, vocational. Okay, what is being taught in school is yes. theory, and vocational training is practical. So children find it difficult to flow well with theory. Let's take, for example, the computer studies. Now, when I was in school back then, this computer studies with the big grammars, I felt it was hard. But when I went into a vocational training, I was specifically based on um, computer training. I found it. I found it out that. Um, computer is easy, but the way it is being taught in school without any practical makes a child find it difficult. So I believe vocational training is good for a child, even at primary school level. Okay. I'm not actually ruling out vocational training. I'm not saying it's not important. It's very important, but hey, going back or going for summer lessons, there should be a balance. That's what I'm saying, that there should be a balance. It should not be ruled out completely, that a child should not refresh his brain or when it goes back to it, the child does look like a dummy. For instance, you're introducing a new course. You're introducing, let's say, a new topic in the class, and the child is lost. Because I'm not saying going for vocational training is bad, it's important, but there should be a balance. Maybe they will have four weeks, for instance, in a, in a, in, for long holidays, okay. maybe two weeks vocational training, and then two weeks for your uh, home lessons, or let me say holiday lessons. Okay, let's take a cue from let's take a cue from natural scenarios here. We are on holidays right now. Yeah. Or some schools are on holidays. We find out that if you go to very some so many schools, you find them running holiday lessons. And we have parents who have their children there. Are you telling me it's not all the students that are there, all the pupils? Of course. Not all. Not all. Not so the, the ones that are not there, where are they? Probably sitting at home sleeping. sleeping. Go and visit him in the Okay, um, at this point we'll go on an, another commercial break and when we resume, we will tell you what is the position of the family and the position of the public. Stay with us. positions here. One is, it's vital for every parent to send his or her child back to school for holiday lessons. The second position is, vocational training is of essence. Irrespective of holiday schools, irrespective of curriculum, once you're on holiday, send your children or your world for vocational training. Okay, we are back here at Navy. Um, I want to know, like I said before we went to the break, we have some parents during holidays, we're in schools right now, some holiday lessons are on. In the same way, do we have vocational institutes that are running um, courses or trainings with students or pupils that are meant to be in school? Yes, we do. We do? Yeah. Okay, well, what was? You don't think so? Why don't you think so? I feel, you know what, like, important training of them. Like what's the most essential thing right okay. now? Who, so. who knows what's essential? Who? Yeah. The parents? Yes. But I think, I would like to cut you in, I think this uh, vocational training is what you're interested in because school is there, yes, but in, you're, you're very, very much interested in getting your hands on something. Stick it again. I think, take it again. Okay, I think vocation is very, very important. Like okay. A child needs that. You're in school, yes, but why stay at home and while away your time? I think you should go get something doing, put your hands Okay, so for every child that is not in school, yes. can get to any vocational center yes. and learn the skill. Yes, based on your interest. Okay, beautiful, based on interest. Yes. Um, I want to say something. Yes. For instance, um, it now depends on the parents now, because there's a children that get confused. Okay. Yes, when it comes to vocational training, I'm not saying I, I don't buy a child should learn vocation 
I'm not, I'm not saying that, but what I'm saying is that a parent should guide. For instance, if a child is interested in uh, fashion design, for instance, or okay. saloon or something, or making hair, and the parents, there are so many parents that discourage that. Okay. Right? But okay. I am of discourage the, I'm, yeah, but I'm of the opinion that a, a parent should guide in yes. the sense that a child should go for that vocation that the parents feel is or is they important. see that yes, they see that this child loves this thing, okay. so that the child will not be frustrated. There are some parents that actually force their children to do a particular vocation that they could not do themselves. Right. For instance, so, I, I was actually a victim of that, and I, I wasn't really flowing. I wasn't really learning anything. I was just praying that okay, let school resume then and go off. Okay, that. So for, for you, parents should understand the skills, understand. Yes. innate talent yes. in their children, what, for sending them to particular exactly. vocational school. What can my child do? What what does he like? You understand? What is what are his interest or her interest? Let me put her in a particular place because they are meant to guide that child in you know bringing up or sharpening up his or her potential. Thank you very much ladies for doing justice to this very topic. Um, we have come to the end of the show, I'm afraid. Um, we cannot go any further because of time constraints. We're sure to be back next time uh, on the same station. But before we go, I want, want you to take this home. The issue was, why would parents send their words of children for holiday lessons rather than send them to you know, training? And today we've been able to understand that here we have two positions. And one says, when your child is not in school, that child can actually go and learn a trade or learn a skill, right? Right? Rather than waste away at home. And the other position is, even if you're going to send your child for vocational training, first of all, try and discover what talent, that innate talent embedded in that child. So it helps to guide you and know the right choice, the right channel, on the right vocational skill to send that child to. That's how far we can go. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's how far we can go. I'd like to thank you for watching. Ladies, thank you for coming on the show. Thank you for, thank you for having me. Bye for now. My name remains Gabriel Isong. So.